But people have a different point of view, definition of artificial super intelligence. How super? You know, 10 times super or 100 times super? 10 years from today, 10,000 times smarter. That's my prediction. We will invest $100 billion. And you told me, oh, Masa, go for 200. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I came back with 500. We would uh, make this happen. We would immediately start deploying $100 billion with the goal of making $500 billion. By 2035, we might share our world with AI that is 10,000 times smarter than the brightest people. Masayoshi-san, who leads SoftBank, is working hard to create this future. Through his company's 90% ownership of chipmaker ARM and huge spending on AI research, Sun is guiding the AI revolution. A key question remains, will we unlock amazing new discoveries or create problems we didn't expect? Sun's vision for our future with technology brings both hope and worry about powerful AI. Masayoshi Sun was born in 1957 in Tosu, Japan, to Korean parents. Life was hard for his family, who lived in a small tin house next to train tracks. As immigrants in post-war Japan, they faced a lot of discrimination. Their struggles got worse when railway workers acting out of hate burned down their home. The family could only watch as everything they owned went up in flames. The painful experience shaped young Masayoshi's character. Despite these challenges, Sun's father Mitsunori worked hard and started several businesses, including a pig farm. His father's success showed Masayoshi what determination could achieve. Growing up facing daily discrimination made Sun very determined to succeed. He later said these difficulties drove him to work harder and aim higher than others expected of him. At the age of 18, Sun moved to America to study at the University of California, Berkeley. This move gave him freedom from the prejudice he faced in Japan. In America, especially in the growing tech world in the late 1970s, he saw endless opportunities. Berkeley opened Sun's eyes to new possibilities. The university was full of excitement about new computer technology, and Sun eagerly learned everything he could. While still in college at age 19, Sun created a device that could translate between languages. He sold this invention to Sharp Corporation for almost $1 million, proving his business skills early on. After succeeding in America, Sun came back to Japan with big dreams. He started SoftBank, which began by selling software. But Sun wanted more than just a small business. From the start, he played by different rules than others. Japanese businesses in the 1980s were very traditional and closed off. Big, old companies with lots of money controlled everything. It seemed impossible for someone like Sun to break in. Sun's plan was basic but new, as he quickly grew SoftBank beyond software into internet, phone services, and new tech. This wasn't just about reducing risk, it was about putting SoftBank at the front of the digital age. Sun's boldest move was in the mid-1990s, when most Japanese companies doubted the internet's worth. Sun bought 40% of Yahoo! than a small American company. People thought he was crazy, but he saw how the internet would change everything. The investment wasn't just for money, it was about securing a place in tech's future. The Yahoo investment paid off quickly in money and strategy. It created Yahoo Japan, a team effort between SoftBank and Yahoo. Under Sun's leadership, Yahoo Japan became huge in Japan's internet world, offering services that worked well for local users. In 1994, SoftBank went public, becoming a world player just as tech was booming. The timing was perfect. As people realized what the internet could do, SoftBank was ready. Sun would pay top dollar for companies he believed in, often getting criticized for paying too much. But many times, these expensive purchases proved smart. Companies that seemed overpriced became key parts of SoftBank. The Alibaba deal shows this perfectly. In 2000, Sun put $20 million into the unknown Chinese online shopping company that had just 18 workers and almost no money coming in. By 2014, when Alibaba went public, the investment was worth over $60 billion. This style of making big bets, focusing on future potential instead of current success, became Sun's signature move. It didn't always work. He had failures along with successes. But when Sun's bets worked out, they worked out really well. 
By the end of the 1900s, SoftBank had grown from a small software seller into a global tech giant. Start by asking you about a fund that you are now raising, the Vision Fund. It's supposed to be a fund of $100 billion? Yes. Now that would be the biggest fund ever raised. So when you told people you were going to raise a $100 billion fund, did they tell you you were a little crazy? Well, some people said. In 2017, Masayoshi Sun launched an ambitious project called the SoftBank Vision Fund. With $100 billion to invest, it was much larger than typical investment funds and matched the size of some small countries' economies. Sun was making a huge bet on technology's future and wanted others to join him. And in one hour, you convinced him to invest $45 billion. No, no, it's not true. Okay. <laughs> 45 minutes, $45 billion. Okay, sorry. Okay, I apologize. Sun found unusual partners to raise this money. Saudi Arabia's government fund became a major investor, along with big tech companies like Apple and Oracle. These diverse investors showed Sun's talent for bringing different groups together with a shared goal. The Vision Fund aimed to invest in unicorns, startups worth over $1 billion, and companies working on artificial intelligence. The fund quickly invested large amounts in companies like Uber, WeWork, and Arm. At first, things went well. Companies that received money from the Vision Fund grew quickly, and their values increased. Sun became known as someone who could make companies successful, and startups eagerly sought his investment. But problems started appearing. Many companies the fund invested in began struggling as tech markets slowed down. The biggest problem came with WeWork. After SoftBank invested $18 billion in this office-sharing company, WeWork's planned stock market launch failed badly in 2019. The WeWork failure marked a turning point. The company's value dropped dramatically, making people doubt Sun's decisions and his risky investment style. Sun himself admitted his disappointment, saying he had nothing to be proud of. By 2022, the fund had lost $22.2 billion since it started. Critics who had warned about Sun's approach felt proven right, while his supporters struggled to defend him. Uh, we made a lot of loss in the investment in, in uh, WeWork, uh, billions of dollars, and that is my mistake, okay? Uh, but luckily, we, we have some other hit. So in total score, we are still, we are right. still positive. Uh, uh, as Masayoshi Sun moved past the Vision Fund's challenge, he set his eyes on an even bigger goal. Instead of backing down from difficulties, his dreams grew larger. His new focus? Creating an artificial intelligence smarter than humans. Sun's passion for AI isn't just following current trends. He claims he started SoftBank specifically to create super smart AI. This bold claim stands out even in the tech world, where big promises are common. To back up his words, Sun invested $9 billion each year in AI research. To learn more about AI, Sun has been meeting with leading experts like OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. Sam, great demo. Thank you. Great demo. I'm glad you They've discussed advanced AI systems and the shortage of computer chips needed to run them. From these talks, Sun concluded that the world needs to invest between $3 trillion to $7 trillion in AI technology. Sun's time frame is surprising. He thinks super smart AI could exist by 2030. Even more boldly, he believes that by 2035, AI could be 10,000 times smarter than humans. He explains the difference between two types of AI, one that matches human intelligence and one that far surpasses it. What is the difference between AGI and ASI? AGI definition is same level of as a human brain. That's a AGI, artificial general intelligence. But people have a different point of view definition of artificial super intelligence. How super? You know, ten times super or a hundred times super? My definition of ASI is ten thousand times super, smarter than human brain. That's my definition of ASI, and that's coming in 2035. 10 years, 10 years from today. The first type would be like a human genius, while the second would be so advanced we could barely imagine it. This super smart AI could change everything. 
from science to economics, healthcare to space travel. It also makes us wonder about humanity's future role. Sun often asks, what will we do for work? How will we live? Despite these big questions, Sun remains totally committed. He often says, it might sound odd, but I believe creating super smart AI is my life's purpose. I'm completely serious about this. Sun's ideas match well with Safe Super Intelligence Incorporated, SSI, a group working to advance AI while keeping it safe. SSI wants to develop AI quickly but safely, similar to Sun's approach. Not everyone believes Sun's timeline is realistic. Many scientists think truly human-level AI is still far away, let alone something smarter. But Sun has never let doubters stop him before. The battle for AI supremacy isn't just about software. It's about the computer chips that make it work. The British company called Arm, mostly owned by SoftBank, designs chips found in almost every smartphone today. SoftBank's leader is playing a strategic game in AI, where every decision matters. In 2024, SoftBank bought Graphcore, another British company that makes AI chips, combining it with Arm's expertise. The smart move helps SoftBank build a stronger position in AI hardware. The potential rewards in this tech race are huge. Talks between SoftBank and OpenAI's leader Sam Altman have shown there are not enough computer chips for AI systems. Experts say this market could be worth three to seven trillion dollars, requiring massive investments. SoftBank has big plans. They want to raise $100 billion for their AI chip project called Izinagi, named after a Japanese god. But completing it won't be easy. Big companies like Nvidia and AMD already lead the market with their powerful graphics chips used for AI. Making chips is complicated, and SoftBank doesn't have much experience in this area. Still, they plan to invest $200 billion in the US to compete with Nvidia. This shows how serious they are about succeeding in AI. Working together, ARM and Graphcore are trying to create better AI chips that use less power and work faster than current options. If they succeed, SoftBank could become a leader in AI hardware. Together, these world-leading technology giants are announcing the formation of Stargate. So put that name down in your books. This project aims to change how AI computing works with effects that could last for many years. Sun has announced he wants to invest $500 billion in AI systems across America. This fits his reputation for thinking big and taking major risks to lead the AI revolution. The main part of this plan involves building huge modern data centers throughout the United States. These centers will be like high-tech computing hubs that can handle the heavy workload of advanced AI systems. They'll provide the computing power needed to run complex AI programs. Sun believes that the need for AI will keep growing rapidly. SoftBank is putting in $15 billion to start the Stargate project, showing they really believe in its success. This money should help attract more investors to reach the $500 billion goal. Sun plans to use project financing for most of the cost, which could limit SoftBank's risk while keeping control of the project. The Stargate project could greatly boost America's AI abilities and global standing. By building these AI-focused data centers, Sun wants to make America the leader in AI development. But there are big challenges ahead. Building on this scale is extremely difficult, from choosing locations to dealing with regulations. Power use is also a major concern, as AI centers need huge amounts of electricity, and finding sustainable power sources won't be easy. There's also uncertainty about future demand. While AI computing needs are high now, the tech world changes quickly. Sun is betting that AI growth will continue and speed up. If he's wrong, or if new technology makes these data centers outdated, the project could face problems. Masayoshi Sun plans to launch 800 satellites into space over the next three years, building on his technology and AI plans. This bold project aims to improve global internet connection and strengthen SoftBank's role in AI development. It's like creating a network of satellites around Earth to connect billions of smart devices. This project is similar to SpaceX's Starlink, which has already thousands of satellites in space, showing how competitive this market is. The network could have huge benefits, as more smart devices become connected. To home gadgets, to factory sensors, the need for fast, reliable internet will grow rapidly. Sun's satellite system could provide internet access where regular networks can't reach. 
the satellite network fits into Sun's bigger AI plans. By creating a worldwide high-speed network, SoftBank could collect real-time data from billions of connected devices. This data could help improve their AI systems, giving them an advantage in developing smarter artificial intelligence. Setting up and running 800 satellites is a huge challenge. Each satellite needs careful positioning and monitoring to work properly and avoid crashing with other objects in space. This raises concerns about space junk and keeping space clean for the future. Getting approval for the project is also difficult. Launching satellites requires following many international rules and getting permissions from different countries. SoftBank must work with regulators worldwide to follow laws about satellite communication and space debris. Despite these difficulties, SoftBank could gain a lot from this project. If successful, the network could make them a major player in global AI and smart device connections. By controlling this important connection network, SoftBank could better understand global data patterns and tech trends, helping their investments in AI work. The debate over advanced AI development has caused strong reactions both in and outside the tech industry. While some people see super smart AI as a helpful partner for humans in the future, many experts are worried about serious risks. We need to think about not just if we can build this technology, but if we should. There are many ethical worries about super-intelligent AI, especially about the risk to human survival. What happens if we create an AI so powerful that it decides humans are not important anymore? This isn't just an idea for movies. Many AI researchers are genuinely worried about this. Dr. Stuart Russell, who teaches computer science at UC Berkeley, has spoken up about the dangers of uncontrolled super-intelligent AI. He warns that if we're not careful, we might create an AI system with goals different from what humans want, leading to dangerous results. He says the main worry isn't about AI becoming conscious, but about its ability to make important decisions that humans might not understand or predict. The discussion about developing super-intelligent AI has strong views on both sides. Supporters see great possibilities for improving society, while critics think the dangers are too big to ignore. These different views show how complicated this issue is, and why we need to think carefully about what to do next. As we approach this major change in technology, we must deal with these ethical questions. What we decide now will affect how humans and AI interact in the future. Should we fully develop super-intelligent AI, or should we find a safer way to use this technology? Our answer could affect the future of humanity.